he's coming. They've rejected people that have called themselves Christians that haven't acted like Christians. Well, we're in a new era. We're at the fullness of the Gentile age. We're at the set time to favor Zion. Time is running short. If there has ever been a time to put God first, if there has ever been a time to be a worshiper of God, if there has ever been a time to go and proclaim the good news to all creation, some people hear that and they take that wrong. They think that they're under a compulsion to share the Messiah with every person that crosses their path. No, use wisdom. Use wisdom. Share the love of Messiah. Share the love of Messiah with everyone that crosses your path. And when the Lord gives you that holy opportunity, share the Messiah. Sometimes you'll only have one chance because the person will be on an airplane with you and you'll never see them again. And God may or may not want you to share everything. The older I get in the Messiah, the more wisdom that I use. I didn't use a whole lot of wisdom as a brand new believer. But I'll tell you something. I'll take the zeal that I had as a brand new believer for the person that has so much wisdom they never share the Messiah. They're afraid of offending their Jewish friends. They're afraid of the nice relationship that they have. Have any of you ever read U.S. history? Read about the Underground Railroad for blacks escaping from the South? I wouldn't be surprised if even in this country, the United States of America, there will be an Underground Railroad. I would not be surprised. Well, I'm reminded. When I was in Jerusalem, I went to a museum and I interviewed the curator for the 700 Club. The name of the museum? The Museum of the Potential Holocaust. That's the name of the museum. They had pictures in this museum of Jesus of crosses, mostly from America, newspapers and magazines, with the most hateful literature you have ever seen in your life. The devil's up to his same old tricks. And I said to the curator of this museum, obviously by the name of this museum, you believe there could be another Holocaust. If there is, there's a new breed of Christian that really love Israel and really love the Jewish people and would stand up and even give their life for the Jewish people. Do you think they'll stand up for the Jewish people in Israel if there is, God forbid, another Holocaust? She looked at me. I wish you could have seen the expression on her face. She said, I don't know. I just don't know. In the book of Esther, a type of the end time church, when Esther went to the first banquet, she did not identify her Jewish connection. And at the Holocaust, most Christians did not identify their Jewish connection. But there was a second banquet coming up. And this, Esther said, you pray and you fast. And if I perish, I perish. And Esther, a type of the end time church, stood up for the Jewish people and identified herself as a part of the Jewish people. And you know what happened? The king gave her favor. Esther, church, if you're not going to stand up for the Jewish people in Israel in good times, if you're not going to share with all people, you won't share with the Jewish people. If you're not going to share with the Jewish people in good times, I believe you're planting seed for the hard times that are coming. This is the time to take these tools that Messianic vision has prepared. 
you're in the most prosperous country the world's ever known. One day, we'll wake up. Our money will be worth nothing. How do I know this? It's in the Bible. Redeem the time. Yea, the set time to favor Zion. The set time has come. It's not an accident you're watching this video or you're here in person. It's divine commission. You've been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. Let the 